what is rubberized asphalt? Well, rubberized asphalt is an asphalt mix that has been modified to allow the addition of ground up crumb rubber. Uh, there are two ways to add rubber into asphalt. One is that it can be added into the binder before mixing. This is generically called the wet process or terminal blend processes for uh, asphalt modification. Uh, the second method that can be used is when the rubber is added like a fine aggregate during mixing. And this is generically called the dry process. Now when you put rubber into roads, whether you do it with dry or wet process, uh, you change some of the performance characteristics of the road. Perhaps most importantly, the road becomes more durable than a standard hot mix asphalt. Uh, it becomes quieter when cars drive across it because of the rubber content. Uh, the road is safer because traction is improved and misting during rain events is reduced. And of course, it makes the road more sustainable in its own right. Well, when we look at the ingredients, Obviously, the most important one is the crumb rubber itself. Most of the crumb rubber that is available to the asphalt industry is recycled tire rubber. Uh, tires coming from trucks and autos. Uh, they are uh, chopped up or they are uh, frozen and shattered. Uh, the uh, belts, uh, whether it's a fiber or metal belt, are removed from the rubber. And the rubber crumbs then are reduced down to a particular size that can be used in, in asphalt. Now these materials are typically free of debris and since they are recycled from tires, they're vulcanized rubber. That's different than natural rubber, it's different than synthetic rubber because it has been pre-reacted in order to make it very tough and very durable and very flexible. Now when rubber is put into pavement, there are a number of benefits as we alluded to a moment ago. Uh, you get a better pavement, and that is the primary advantage. Well, what do we mean by a better pavement? Well, the two primary ways that an asphalt pavement will fail is through rutting uh, and cracking. Now, in addition to making the road more rut and crack resistant, the road surface, as I indicated before, is smoother, it's quieter, there's better traction and less spray that occurs on the pavement. But another benefit that we get from rubberized asphalt is that with the new technologies that are being deployed in the field, the production costs are lower than they were before. Uh, this occurs because instead of allowing the oil industry to modify binder and transport the modified binder to the asphalt production facility, the asphalt can be modified at the asphalt plant itself. This significantly reduces the cost of the asphalt because you've eliminated one of the middlemen in the transaction. And so the asphalt can be produced, modified with rubber at a lower cost than previously experienced. Now finally, the uh, other benefit that we see is that that formerly sticky and difficult to work asphalt now handles and compacts like regular hot mix, both in the plant and in the field. So what you get is a more durable asphalt at a lower cost that is easier to handle. Dry process rubberized asphalt uh, uses a chemically engineered crumb rubber product, generically referred to as ECR. And that crumb ru rubber project is manufactured very carefully into the, uh, into the asphalt plant using a precision pneumatic injection system. The dry process takes an engineered crumb rubber which is packaged up and shipped to an asphalt production facility. The asphalt production facility takes the bag and loads it into a feeder, and the feeder blows the material in a very carefully precise measured stream tied to the operating temple of the plant through the wrap collar into a drum plant, or the unit can be adopted to uh, uh, feed material into a batch plant as well. Now, the feeder system and what we're looking at here is a very large fiber machine that has been adapted. It's got a double auger system to move the material through and make sure that it is dropping down into a loss and weight feeder at precisely measured amounts over a unit time and it has a very narrow tolerance for accuracy. And as you'll see here, when the, uh, when the uh, screen comes up, uh, we have just loaded a one ton bag of rubber product into the surge hopper of the feeder unit, which keeps the other portion of the feeder unit full and operating. The rubber produces a smooth, workable hot mix that does not build up or jam up in the plant. 
It doesn't stick uh, to the uh, machine in the field. If you have to use a shuttle buggy, uh, when you put the material into a paver, there's no problem whatsoever. And when it comes out of the paver, it's smooth. It's not prone to tearing. It doesn't stick to hand tools. And when the roller runs across the surface, the roller doesn't require any kind of uh, additional pass work. Uh, it doesn't stick to the rollers themselves. So the finished product, when it's laid down, looks like a hot mix, except it's darker and richer in color. It doesn't give off a lot of fumes. And uh, it allows us to essentially move forward uh, uh, with paving operations just the same way that we're used to seeing in the, uh, in the field with a regular hot mix. So when we go into production at an asphalt plant, they don't have to have special storage areas. They can store the bags of rubber outside. They're protected from rain and, and the elements. There are no special plant adjustments. We can bring a unit into a batch plant, hook it up in a matter of hours, and they can be making uh, modified asphalt with crumb rubber on the same day. There is no opportunity for settling. There's perfect mixing in the plant itself. Normal plant operating temperatures are required, nothing special in that regard, and there's no buildup in the surge hopper. But the real question is, how well does it perform in the field? And the short answer is, it performs very well. Uh, if we look in the further northern plains, this is on I-88 outside of Chicago on the Illinois Tollway system. And we have five projects there where we have laid both shoulder and mainline paving. Uh, these are SMA mixed designs with uh, moderate to very high recyclable content. We have RAS, wrap, and rubber in some of these mixed designs, up to 45% uh, asphalt binder replacement. Now, in these projects, it's pretty routine to see Hamburgs, uh, 20,000 pass Hamburgs with two to three millimeter rut, and DCT scores, which are an indication of resistance to cracking, and far more importantly, in this area, thermal cracking, uh, DCT scores that are exceptionally high in the 600 to 800 range. In short, the lab testing and the field performance both indicate that this, these mixes are gonna perform very well over time. Uh, if you look at the national dry process track record, uh, we have more than 2.5 million tons in service with our, our oldest projects up to 15 years in age. Uh, we have 14 interstate projects on the ground, numerous heavy use highway, state highway projects, and lots of applications in, uh, in less intense environments. But what we find in all climatic areas of the country is that the pavements are durable, they're quiet, they're safer. So that's a big step forward for the industry. Dry process isn't an experimental process anymore. It's a proven technology. Multiple states are looking at putting it into their specifications, and these are cold, warm, hot, wet, and dry uh, environments. If you're interested in this technology, uh, we would like to make an offer to you, and that is that there is broad technical and equipment support available to you. Uh, we'll help you if you're an engineer. We'll help you with uh, training, specifications, etc. Uh, if you're in a plant uh, and you're looking to put this process in, we can help you with installation, calibration, test operation, including equipment and field support. We have test and demonstration equipment available at very modest prices. Uh, so that you can use these as part of your, uh, your efforts to try the process out. And as I indicated, we have sa sample specifications as well. Uh, thank you for your time and attention. And if you have more complicated or specific questions or want to discuss matters with us further, please feel free to call us at our contact number.